Okay, welcome back everybody to Minecraft. I uh, thank you all for coming back. And in the last... Ooh, we're running at 60 FPS. Interesting. I didn't know if... Oh, there it is. There's my 30 FPS. Fraps does that, but still, 30 is plenty for me. 60 does look a little better, but... 30 is still just fine. Although, I think I have a recording in 30, so maybe that's the issue. <laughs> anyway, I was, uh... I was, I'm still on this Google Fiber kick, man. I didn't, you know, I recorded these all at once, so I'm not going to get the feedback. But uh, it is an interesting concept. It's going to make everything instant. Now, Google is all about instant and right now, but we know that it's just going to be a bad, bad thing because people are not going to have patience for anything anymore. That was what I was talking about in my last video, essentially, is that it's going to reduce everyone's patience level to just about zero. It seems like the more instantly and the more rapidly we can get stuff, uh, the less patience we have for, you know, everything else. And if something can't happen instantly or right when it's when you think it should, then it's it's no good, and you get all frazzled and upset, and you know the whole world is is a mess. And why is this happening? My life sucks so badly. When it's really your just perception of your life that is causing you to think that way, and you are probably spoiled by technology and whatever else, and blah blah blah. You get my point. It's not good to have everything immediately. I technically this is like the old uh, you know when we were t people are talking about prayer and about how God can't be a gracious God and a, and a loving God because he doesn't answer your prayers when you ask for them you know if I were God I would be answering people's prayers because that makes me a good God it makes me a God that people would want to worship because I I give everybody what they want and then there's no problems because everyone's happy they give everything instantly well, uh, I'm sorry, but that's not how it works. Oh, hello, Diamond! See that? I've been playing Minecraft for an hour and a half, and it's more rewarding to me because I finally found a diamond, and it's probably just one. And, oh, wait, there's more. Never mind. See, it, it's much more gratifying when you, when you work to get what you want rather than just having it handed to you. You got these guys in creative mode building diamond houses or cheating in all a bunch of these resources to just make something. It doesn't have the same effect. Look at how successful my channel was as a result of all the effort that I put into building the, ro the, the rails to paradise and Moria and the servers and building all these things. I mean, I, I have a whole history of these things that I've made and I gathered every single resource that I got. Oh my goodness, that could have been bad. The only time I used mods and, and cut the corners a little bit was when I was creating the Pandora maps, and that was because I needed to dig out large areas of the underground, and it wasn't practical to do that by hand. And Pandoras, by the way, are still out there. At the end of every video, I have the download uh, video and the promotional video for Pandora 2, so I really, I really wish more people would check that out because I really thought it was, it was an awesome map. And I really, it took me, a, oh my goodness, there's a mini zombie. Oh, it's a mini morphed zombie. <laughs> well, you're not going to get the likes of me. <laughs> yeah, I really wish more people would play Pandora 2. You don't even have to do videos on it. Although I really like watching people play videos of the map that I made. And, and commenting on it. But it's just, it's, it's neat. And it's huge. Diamonds! The only reason I'm getting these achievements is because, oh my goodness, I just... I just lagged. <laughs> That's another thing, man. I should unplug my internet. I don't want to lag out and fall into the lava. Let's see how many diamonds we get over here. I'm going to count that as one because it was the first one I found and they're in proximity. So this is two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven total diamonds. Oh my god. Goodness, that's more than enough for what I need. Because as we know, you need a diamond pick, and uh, which is three, and two diamonds to make a... Uh, actually, I have everything I need to make the enchanting table. Oh my goodness, this is such a good day. I don't know if I'm going to have quite enough, but you know what that means. Since I have the enchanting table and the diamond, 
I can go to the nether and get the blaze rods to make the potion craft. You know, that's, that's, that's what we gotta do. I know I've done it before, but not in Amplified. Because when I have all these things, it makes it much easier. Why am I doing this with an iron pick? I almost tried to dig obsidian up, obsidian up with, a di with, a, with an iron pick that doesn't work. Everyone knows that. Okay. There we go. I'm going to combine these two since that one's almost dead. Okay, here we go. I'm hoping I don't run into too much lava. And this is probably going to take a while. But remember, I only have, already have six obsidian. And I only need ten for... Uh, well, I need four for the... The, 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 you know what I'm talking about. The enchantment table. And then I need, uh, ten more for the minimum for the nether. Oh, no, wait, I can do a two by two, can't I? Well, we'll, we'll get it out. I have six, I need eight. See, if I could get them instantly, you'd think, wow, that'd be so much better. But no, it's not. Because in short term, it doesn't hurt anything. I mean, okay, you get the instant obsidian, no big deal. But when that trend continues over a long period of time, and the normal begins to be instant gratification, you no longer have any respect for earning anything and patience. It's, it's the same thing, you know, you hear about that story about that kid that got drunk and, and hit, killed them people, uh, and he was 16, and the, and the psychiatrist gets up on the, the witness stand, and he says, well, this child suffers from a medical condition known as affluence. And he is not responsible for his actions because he has never known the consequence of his actions because he's always had money. Are you kidding me? Any normal judge, and I've, to I've talked about this too, but any judge that excused anybody for any stupid reason like that would not be considered a fair judge. That's why I say God's a fair judge because the penalty for sin is death. You must pay for sin. Oh my goodness, no! What, did I hit a soft spot there? Is that, was that creeper a Christian? Come on now. Or an atheist? <laughs> I'm trying to make a point here. And the point is, affluence is a bunch of hogwash. Okay? You know right from wrong, especially by age 16. You know the difference. And you've certainly seen an ad or two regarding, regarding a drunk driving, okay? The fact that you are rich and have always had everything handed to you on a silver platter does not mean that you are somehow excused from the law. Okay, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but you know what? That's a perfect example of this instant gratification thing that I'm talking about. Because if you can get everything instantly, you're no longer, you're gonna be spoiled. You're no longer gonna be able to tolerate waiting at the drive-thru for two minutes. If you can't get your food in three, four seconds, you're gonna be pissed off, and there's gonna be a lot of unstable people out there they can't get instantly gratified, they can't get what they want right now, that are going to go nuts. And they're going to actually cause problems instead of instead of just being patient. I mean, look at me. I've, I've been waiting now four years to catch my break. And I did get the, the Machinima partnership, although I had to pull teeth and complain like a little baby to get it. But I, I didn't, I, I don't make any money. And I'm still trying to figure out ways to get the channel back up, you know, to, to, oh boy, to skeletons. Trying to get it to where, uh, it can, you know, profit. Because I was going to use that money to fund my game design career. Because if I can, if I can support my living situation, which I can't do right now, then I'll be able to work full time on game development and start producing stuff. Because I have really good ideas and I can do it. But I don't have the resources. I don't have the money to, to eat every day and live somewhere and pay rent and all that, all the bill stuff. I don't have that money and I don't have that income. The only way to get that income is to get a job, which you can't anyway because I don't have a car to get there. And I can't finance one because I don't have enough. And unemployment now is getting cut off. So I'm not going to have an income at all. Thank God my, my folks are helping me out. But the, the point is, you're in a, I'm in a real bind financially and since some of it is my own fault and I'm not very good with money but that doesn't mean I shouldn't be given a chance 
because I am networked and I'm connected to all these opportunities, but they just never get go anywhere, and I don't understand why not. For me, other people get it, it happens too. How come I'm having such a hard time? Where? How come I'm having such a struggle? I I don't understand. And so, if if I was at all ruined by instant getting things instantly, I would never have the patience for this. And I'd say, well, whatever. It takes a whole month to get paid? What is that nonsense? I should be getting paid daily. You know what? Screw this, man. I don't get things fast enough within my liking, my time frame. And that's that's just nonsense. So, instant always leads to disaster and the breakdown of society. The, the faster we can get things. What I was originally talking about before when that creeper, atheist creeper blew up in my face was that if you could ask God for, for something like a million dollars and say, God, I don't have money. I really need money. Could I have a million dollars? And the next thing you know, poof, it was right there. Okay? Oh, that's great. He got a million dollars. Now he can afford whatever. Well, I understand that for the moment, that's not such a bad thing. But, uh, you know, con oh, jeez, now it's, now the, the, oh, that, was that a creeper? I thought it was lightning. <laughs> um, if you could get a million dollars just by asking for it out of the clear blue sky, and, uh, you know, like I said, by itself, there's, there's nothing, that, you know, would seem to be wrong with that, but everybody's going to do it, and there's going to be no value of money, but even if that didn't matter... What about people wishing for things like somebody says, Oh, Lord, could you please get, blow up the earth? I don't want to live here anymore, and I want everyone to die. Well, if you're the kind of God that answers prayer because it makes people happy, now you've just destroyed everything at the behest of one person's request. You can't do that. <laughs> it's got to be balance, which means some people are going to suffer. That's why they're suffering in the world, because there is balance. Now, I'm... Relating that to things uh, happening instantly, because if you make everything instant, you tip this balance between patience and no patience, and it it it, it becomes uh, a, it's a means to no end. I mean, you just can't have it. The, the faster we can get things, since time, although some people say it's relative, excuse me, I gotta stretch. Ugh. People say that time is relative, but time does flow at a consistent and constant pace. Hey, Creeper. Ugh. Good thing I wasn't using that house. I'm using the forge. It's a little safer. It's made out of stone. It's a stone building. Crap! Oh, there's a Creeper right there, isn't there? Yep. Yeah, see? It's a little safer in here. It's made of solids, except for this part. It's made of solid stone. So we're gonna block off the door and turn on the lights. And I put my iron... Oh, I did collect a lot of iron in that campaign, didn't I? We're going to uh, melt all this... Melty all this down, you know? All I'm saying is it's a bad, bad idea. This whole human race, man, I don't know. It's just going to... I think it's going to tend all in complete and utter destruction. Uh, let alone all the stuff happening in the Goobermints. And the socialist agendas and the communist agendas and the, the rising dictators and supposedly the Antichrist... You know, uh, I think getting everything instantly is a big part of, of that. Just because you can't you can't honestly expect me to believe, and here comes our enchantment table, that getting things instantly is good long term. Short term, maybe. Maybe you can get away with it short term. Every once in a while somebody catches a break. That I get. But... You cannot expect me to believe that uh, instant gratification. I've said this a lot now in this video, but it's important. Getting things instantly is good long term. Because that becomes the norm. And then people start to expect things instantly. Oh crap, I need leather, that's right. I always forget that. Because it's so stupid! It's just, it's, it's not, it's not going to end well. I don't know if it's going to cause the apocalypse. But it might have something to do with it. We're talking about uh, no more patience for anything, which means people will stop having children because they won't have the time or patience for that. I mean, people are already working too much. So what do they expect to happen? 
and the kids are growing up all messed up because they didn't have the nurturing that is required because the parents got to put the food on the table right but you know in the society of the poor things are worth less and there's less you know going on and uh, you know the poor people are going to be the proponents at first to say yo man having stuff instantly would be so great then i wouldn't have to work so hard and i could see that also being beneficial but at the same time work is designed to be hard okay ever since the days of adam god said specifically you will till the ground with your sweat and your and your back i mean it was it was said because of sin work is hard and that's the way it's going to be it's almost like it's almost like the world is trying to get rid of things being difficult because they don't want to face the sin condition maybe food for thought because this video is running uh running up to the end of the timer and to recap we're talking about life and things and society and and I've uh, I got back out of the cave safely there might be a little bit more to go but I did find the diamonds necessary to continue to the next step of this lovely encounter so uh, I think I'm gonna stop for the day while my iron bakes away and in the next video I'm gonna make my enchanting room and try to stretch out one of these houses to be a little more presentable because I like that these structures are already here I can I can use this to at my advantage and I'm sure the gonzo testicle certificates won't mind so I will see you in the next video and stay awesome and of course Try to try to have patience. That's the moral for today. Try to have patience because no matter how quickly you get something, it is never going to fully satisfy you like you expect. So keep that in mind, and I will see you later. Oh, yeah.